All right, hello. Uh, I'm doing an experiment uh, following the, the first video. So this is me talking off the cuff, no script, uncut. Uh, thanks for your patience with this discovery process. So it's, firstly, today's video is not anything to do with a life book. It's uh, an experiment of sorts for a couple of reasons. One, I've got some learnings from my first video. Oh, sorry, let me put a timer. I'm, I don't want this to go longer than 10 minutes. So I've, uh, uh, what's the point anyway, I'm showing that. Uh, look, that, that aside, uh, I've got some learnings from the first video, which I'll talk about uh, just to, to, to share where my thoughts are having gone through that uh, experience. Um, the main reason I'm having a, doing this video tonight is I went to a Jordan Peterson meetup. Uh, the focus is we discuss uh, his 12 rules from his book. So tonight's one was rule number three, which is uh, make, make friends um, with, with those who have your best interests. Something along those lines. Make friends with those who have your best interests. Uh, no, sorry. Make friends with those who want the best for you. And so we, we've got a very diverse group in this meetup. Uh, it's, I, I literally call it a motley crew. Uh, all walks of life, people that I'd never come across in my day-to-day -day interactions. So it's a fantastic experience to get insights from, from other people. And what I found uh, in tonight's session was people, I think, took this one for granted, look, firstly, sorry, I'm just gonna seg for a second. I'm not gonna go into great detail about this video because I actually want to make a series of videos on the, on the, on the 12 rules. Wow, that's interesting. I just heard some noise outside that sounded like someone's in my backyard. Um, I want to make a series of videos on Jordan on the Jordan Peterson life book, uh, uh, rules of life. So uh, I won't go into this in too much detail. I'm just more sharing some insights from tonight. Uh, what I found interesting in this was that people gave me the impression that there was a level of simplicity to this, um, and we're getting. I, I thought they were getting fixated on the uh, vernacular or specific word utilization. So what is best, uh, etc. My, my starting premise when I, as soon as I heard this rule was that it, it's essentially um, advising uh, treat everyone as acquaintances, even your enemies, and uh, the people that actually do care about you and have your best interests at heart, they're the ones that you should have as friends. So in, on one hand, I was also in that camp that found it simple, but it's, I, where I'm going with all of this is what I found found interesting was that when things started to get prodded a little bit further, that people started going into this mode. And look, uh, I don't want to insult any of the people there tonight. They're all good people, uh, all with uh, unique perspectives based on their experiences. Uh, just like myself uh, but my observations were there were some people either falling into uh, the social normalities um, or they perhaps just ignorant to themselves but there was uh, an individual in particular who made the comment that uh, they go around treating everyone uh, as if they're friends uh, and and, and it, it wasn't that I'm not paraphrasing right look forgive me it's 11 p.m. I, um, it's, it, it's late I'm struggling to think uh, coherently but the the gist of what this person said was that they at this meetup group which is once a month uh, in general no interaction with the people beyond that was, uh, the person was like uh, I, I, I I, I consider here everyone friends and I have I want them I want the best for them and I just thought that was an interesting comment because in the English language in particular it's a very common uh, just like it's a greeting to say hello uh, good morning it's also uh, an exit greeting I don't know what the right word is I'm calling exit greeting to say all the best see you later 
Uh, for me, for me personally, it's quite a, a, a meaningless statement. Uh, I, I, I don't personally find it very authentic, and I communicated this to the group. I don't, I don't find it very authentic to actually say to people, uh, I wish you the best. To people I don't know intimately, let alone uh, as an acquaintance. And the reason for this is to say to someone, uh, you know, I hope you have a good day, I wish you, uh, I, I, I wish you good fortune. I think within the culture that we, in within all the different cultures, that's that's relative, that's got a stereotypical uh, or, or, or relatively common value of association. But when you say the best, I think that's very unique and personal to the individual. And so for me to say to you, the viewer who I've never met before potentially, I, I wish you the best, what does, what does it actually, uh, what does it actually mean if I haven't, taken the time to understand what your perspective of best to you is is the is there authenticity behind that uh for me i, I struggle to come to terms with that and, and and but you know i'm really keen to hear what your position is uh whether you agree disagree i'm just curious so it's an open question. That's why I actually, that's why I wanted to make this video for two reasons. The other, the other one was there was a propensity tonight for some individuals to talk about masculinity and how Jordan Peterson is, uh, uh, for, for, especially for younger males, uh, empowering them to feel more masculine. And Perhaps there's information about this online, I haven't looked it up, but the question I raised was uh, where is the distinction between masculinity and chauvinism and I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't receive an answer that, that gave me closure, so it's actually something I'm personally interested to look up a bit more because I'm struggling to understand myself what, what the distinction is or even could be, but you know, once again, uh, if you've got thoughts, I'd, I'd actually love to hear them. Uh, so I've got three minutes left out of my t uh, 10. This actually went quite quick. Uh, I'm curious to know how it goes in, in, in uh, uh, the video. Um, so my thoughts on the first video. Okay, so I'm actually very grateful for everyone that, that watched it. Um, and I'm very grateful for the constructive comments and, and, and feedback. So look, firstly, I, I agree with everyone. The the, the, the robot voice thing was uh, <laughs> uh, irritating. Uh, so much so that even though it's my video and I've got a personal investment to it, I actually struggled to watch beyond it as well. Uh, so how did that come about? It came about because I knew I wanted to make a commitment to release a video and I ran out of time. It, I've never been in this game before of doing video editing or even uh, filming myself in this manner or, or having a, uh, some sort of script or, or whatever and uh, it was time consuming more so than I could have imagined especially learning software packages blah 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 but I also knew I had to uh, I, I knew that for me personally I needed to output a, a video on time say I've done it because it was never going to be perfect from the start I just needed I needed a baseline and can improve video by video and so I uh, <laughs> look to be honest uh, well I have been honest all the time uh, <laughs> uh, the, the painful truth to admit is I released that video without having watched it <laughs> so I, I did all the cuts I had watched what I had watched was the cut transitions, but not the video as an entirety. And so when I came to the point where the robot was, I was like, oh man, this is painful. So uh, thank you for all those who managed to persevere. Uh, that's it. So that, that was a massive lesson there. Um, I, don't, I don't want to do that again. Uh, I had to do that to prove to myself I could do this. I've done that, uh, but from now on, uh, videos will be released. From a watch look some uh, some other comments I had were, uh, or, 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 some, or some other items I felt was uh, uh, not not to get into too many technical specifics uh, I I I actually am not really mo I'm not motivated at all by the likes and subscribes and I'm not gonna ask for it anymore what I'm motivated what I'm motivated by is 
uh, shares and comments, comments in particular. I really do want to hear your feedback. That, that's a massive reason why I'm doing this. I want to connect with like-minded people and that starts with commenting. So uh, that that's really a, a, a core driver uh, for both that the content is interesting, but also uh, a core driver for my own stimulation. Uh, some other things, uh, uh, the, the the transition from long to close. Okay, that's my 10 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap this up. The the transition from long to close was actually done by filming the video twice. Uh, so once, because I used a prime lens, which means you can't zoom in, zoom out. So I filmed it once in and once out, and it's just too time consuming. I've actually found that since then, you can zoom in on a, on a, on a video you've taken from far out to, to get that close up shot, so. Uh, I've committed now to a software package, so that will be a lot quicker uh, in the future. Uh, one now that does clips, uh, I'm not gonna go into this anymore. Anyways, look, like I said this video was an experiment. Uh, I wanted to just talk about some learnings I had from the meetup tonight. Uh, and also I wanted to see what it was like just talking off the cuff, no cuts. Uh, <sighs> What I'm looking for in this video is uh, my my voice is it is it monotonous uh, uh, when I when I don't have uh, a direct inspir uh, script to, to to go off and I'm also interested in the uh, pausing in between commenting and things like arms ahs breathing uh, the ability to communicate. I'm really tired, so if, if what I'm saying is not entirely co coherent, I can forgive myself there. <laughs> uh, but aside from that, look, once again, thank you. I appreciate the support. And uh, once again, until next time, I'm really excited for uh, what this channel is going to turn into. I've got some great ideas that I'm, uh, once this life book journey uh, is complete, I'm really looking forward to investing in real time to, to develop this and, and connect with like-minded people. So thank you once again. Bye. Thank you.